Welcome back to the Wildlife Garden Project. My name's Laura. And I'm Abby. And we're here to show you how we made this fantastic bug hotel. <laughs> Not only are bugs are great for food, for mammals and birds, but also for things like lace wings and ladybirds are fantastic to eat aphids off your vegetable patch. So should we go back in time and show them how we did it? Yeah. Let's go. So, first of all, we need to gather our materials. So we're just using stuff that we re reuse, stuff that we scavenge from my garden and your garden, isn't it? So it's always best to use stuff like that rather than buying new things from the hardware shop. It's better to reuse. So, best thing to start off with is one of these. This is a wooden pallet. You can scavenge these from all sorts of places, have a look in the classifieds, ask around friends and families, local businesses, and somebody might have this sort of thing. And it's just perfect. You can stack them up and it's a great base for them. Book Hotel. Now what else do we need, Abby? Well, we could use bricks because they, they keep it nice and steady and also they have holes in them so bugs ah. can hide inside them. Oh, brilliant. That is a good idea. And another great thing about bricks is that if you can't find any of these wooden pallets, you can get pieces of wood that you found laying, lying around and layer those up with bricks in between so you can create the gaps. And that's just another way of doing it. So now we need to find all sorts of different materials to stuff in all those gaps in the basic structure. So here we've got some bamboo canes of all different shapes and sizes. Now what do you think might use these, Abby? Well, bugs could use them to like lay their eggs in and hide in things. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. Um, solitary bees in particular like to use these and you'll know they're in there because once they've laid their eggs, there'll, there'll be a little covering over which they, which they make to protect them. So look out for that. Right, next. What have we got next, Abby? Well, um, you can use those for the same thing. Exactly, you're right. Straws, just plastic drinking straws. They're different sizes to the bamboo cane, so you might get different kinds of bees or other insects using that. Any gaps and crab anything with a hole or a crevice in is perfect for this sort of thing. Things like to burrow in there and lay their eggs and all sorts, don't they? <laughs> We also have here loads and loads of straw and just little bits of stuff that we've collected from around the garden. And this is great just for jamming in all the holes and all sorts of bugs will burrow in there and nest and maybe even hibernate. So, do you want to have a look and see what's in that bag there for me, Abby? Leaves. Leaves. A little eye frame. Oh, wow, look at that, that's a shield bug. In the leaves here, Abby has just found our first bug hotel resident. She has found a little green shield bug. They're gorgeous little things, aren't they? <laughs> so that's Abby's new friend. So he is going to be our first resident. So as we've seen from the shield bug that we've just found in there, leaves make a fantastic habitat for all kinds of creepy crawlies. But not only that, hedgehogs love using this as a nice snug bedding. Right, okay, so do you want to put that little bug back in there for now? There we go, excellent. And what else do we have? Right, I've got some tiles. Now, what do you think these might be good for? Well, lizards and things could like hide in them because they stay cold and damp. Exactly, that's exactly right. This is perfect for putting all, in, again, in the base of the bug hotel. And we'll stack them all in. Make sure you leave gaps so that the reptiles and amphibians, frogs and toads and things like that can all get in. So that's another little thing to have. And any old tile that you've got lying around from when your parents had their kitchen done, anything like that. So that just about covers it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But be creative with your bug hotel. Any materials you can find, dead wood and things like that is brilliant. Bits of old bark, old leaves, twigs, sticks and stones. All of those things will be fantastic. Anything that's got a hole in it, anything that's got a gap in it, or anything that will be nice and snug, it can all be used. So get creative, reuse what you can find. And I think it's time to get building, do you? Yeah. Okay, let's go. So, we've got the basic bug hotel structure in place. We've got all of the pallets and all of the bricks and you can see what it's going to look like now. So the next step is to start filling in all of those holes with all the materials we've collected. Okay, 
So next, we're going to pack in all of our bamboo canes. A good technique to do this is to take a normal plastic bottle and then just snip it round like this. And then you can help me with this, Abby. I'm just going to cram all of these bamboo canes in. Okay, there we go. So where do you think we should put these? In there. In there? Go on then. So here's another example of some stuff we've just found lying around a bit of old pipe, something might live in there, something might crawl in there, so I think we're going to put that in as well. Yeah. Stuck that there again. Okay, we've got another little idea for you here. This cardboard box that we had our straw in, this can make a fantastic home for lace wings. So what we're going to do is, we're going to cut off a section, and then, if you help me with this, what we do is we roll it up as tightly as we can, like that. Shove that in there. So the thing to remember is just make sure the plastic overlaps the cardboard so that it doesn't get wet. And that'll be a nice little home for lace wings, won't it? Yay! Right, well that's it. Here's our finished bug hotel. So you really should have a go at this yourself. Doesn't matter how big or small your garden is, you can go for something extravagant like this, or if you haven't got much room, Try one of these lacewing houses or a solitary bee home. You can use that as an individual little home in its own right. So I think it's time to declare our bug hotel open for business. <laughs> <laughs>